So hello and welcome to another video on my channel, Akasha Love. I'm Akasha Shell. And coming to you from a hot and sweaty Wednesday afternoon here in Bali. Today I wanted to talk about the difference between love and addiction because I think this is a very relevant topic for anybody who has found themselves stuck in um, toxic relationship cycles. So, so stuck in the cycle of attracting either unavailable people or getting into relationships with very narcissistic people. So people that probably identify themselves uh, as in some way codependent. So highly empathic people who are really far on the um, people pleasing side of the healthy love spectrum would probably be included in this and as would narcissistic people. So both of these ends of the healthy love spectrum, the not enough self and the too much self, the people pleasers and the narcissists, both of them are coming to relationship from a place of codependency. So that's a place of really wanting to outsource uh, their needs to the other person. <clears throat> so particularly they are both really outsourcing their need for feeling loved to the other person. And this is really the essence of addiction. It's trying to get something from the outside world which you don't find inside yourself. So whether that something is a substance, so drugs, alcohol, um, food, television, internet, social media, those are not really substances, but activities, or whether it's something like sex and love addiction, it's trying to get something from the outside world. So either sex from a person, love from a person, drugs, alcohol, social media in order to feel something within yourself and that something usually is i guess <clears throat> some kind of feeling of a void some kind of emptiness inside which you feel you are not really able to feel yourself you're not really able to satisfy and feel that <clears throat> empty hole that you feel inside and that is the nature of addiction and what what does it really do? It doesn't ever really feel that emptiness. It will just dull down the sensations of the emptiness. So the more that we take the drugs or the alcohol or eat the food or watch the social media or get that love or sex from somebody, then we are kind of distracted from this emptiness feeling. But none of these things really will ultimately take away that feeling of emptiness or feel that void or that hole that we might feel feel within us so what is the answer then to um, breaking this cycle of toxic addictions whether it be to substances or whether it be to people it's i guess obviously it's it's finding it's being with that place in ourselves that empty space and feeling whatever feelings arise from that empty space allowing that space to be there not running away from it not running away from your own feelings accepting and allowing basically everything and 
loving, I guess, loving what is ultimately. And as you love everything within you, whether that, whether you find within you an emptiness, some kind of vast abyss or hole, or whether you find a feeling of fullness, if you can love and accept whatever it is that you find, then I think slowly, slowly you come to a place of love and acceptance of yourself. And slowly, I think over time, this feeling of abyss, this feeling of emptiness will slowly fade away as you give it space to just be there. Because that's the magical thing about presence practice. So that's like meditation, yoga practice, any practice that helps you to be present with all and anything that is within yourself. As you can, as you be more present with all of your uncomfortable feelings, on a daily basis and you just allow them to be there whatever they are feeling like you slowly just start to accept yourself and you slowly slowly start to accept each moment to moment awareness being as it is and you don't need to change anything and even if you do feel that vast abyss of that emptiness you don't need to try go and desperately try and fill it with any substances, with any activity or with any people. And that's why I think <clears throat> meditation practice um, is a really great thing for anybody who is recovering from any kind of addiction, whether it is drug addiction, food addiction, or, um, or love and sex addiction, because meditation practice is really about being with what is, as it is, being with the present moment as it is right now without having to change anything accepting everything as it arises as it is not needing to change anything and that's basically the practice of vipassana meditation which is insight meditation clear seeing and um, it's the practice where you go to a retreat often the vipassana retreat is a 10-day silent retreat and you're literally spending eight to ten hours a day in either sitting or walking meditation just literally being with yourself watching all of your inner states arise and pass away arise and pass away arise and pass away arise and pass away so that's really the magic of that practice which i would recommend to anybody who does find themselves on this spectrum of codependency, whether you are on the people pleasing end or on the narcissistic end of the codependency spectrum, I think this um, meditation practice is a really, really uh, good start to healing from that, to finding all of the love that you need within yourself, being a whole person and then slowly being able to attract healthy relationships because you're no longer reaching out to somebody to feel anything inside of you so that i think is essentially the difference between a toxic relationship which is a, a, a kind of addictive relationship where either one or both people probably both otherwise they would not be there, are kind of using each other to fill some kind of hole within themselves. And this doesn't work because that hole is never filled by the other person because that person is not capable of doing that. So depending on the level of toxicity of both of these people, they may either recognize that um, cycle or they may not and if they don't recognize that cycle of trying to fill some hole within themselves with the other person 
then they may just blame the other person and say that that's the wrong person for them and that the fault of the relationship not working out is because they've chosen the wrong person without actually realizing that they have an addictive behavior towards that other person and that they're not really able to um, create a space of real love with that person because they're trying to outsource their needs for loving themselves to the, the other person. So meditation, I think, is a really great first step to healing this. And even just meditating on the difference between addiction and love. So addiction, what is the what is the nature of addiction? It's a feeling of craving. It's a feeling of reaching and grabbing for whatever it is, whether it's sex, love, drugs, alcohol, food. And no matter how much you grab, you always need to grab more. So if you're a drug addict, you always need to increase your dose to have the same effect from that drug. If you are binging on food, you often start to eat more and more food and you are not getting the same effect, the same thing. You may have to increase the food that you're eating to kind of get the high from the food. And yeah, it's a feeling of craving and a feeling of actually, even though you keep trying to meet that craving with the drug, whatever it is, it never really works. So you get into this toxic cycle of getting the drug, satisfying the craving, the craving coming back, maybe even worse, even more, you need to get more of that drug and just over and over again in this loop. And what does love feel like? Love is not any kind of substance. It's not something from the outside. It's not something that we can get. It's, it's what we are, it's who we are love is is who we are it's all of us love is the universe is made from love it comes from love it's the essence of who we are it's the healthy essence of who we are cannot be bought and sold it cannot be taken from anybody you cannot grab it you cannot you cannot you cannot get it you can only be it it's an attitude more than anything and it's a an attitude of fullness within the self accepting everything that's within the self not trying to steal or take anything from another person it's an attitude of expansiveness. Love is expansiveness. It doesn't contract. It doesn't take. It doesn't steal. It doesn't rob. It's a, a, an attitude of expansive energy, which is endless and infinite and ever, ever, ever complete. It's complete. It's never running out. And it's that feeling of the opposite feeling from addiction. So whereas addiction is that cycle of <clears throat> never actually having enough, keeping reaching out to whatever it is that you're reaching out to, but never quite getting enough. Love is the more that you give, the more that you receive. The more expansive your attitude is in love, the more open your heart becomes, the more you're able to receive love from other people. So it's an expansive uh, cycle rather than a vicious cycle. It's a virtuous cycle. So vicious circle or virtuous circle. So the more love you give, the more you receive, the more love you are, the more you feel. So this is really the it's the antidote to this, these um, toxic relationships that we can develop when we're coming from this place of codependency. So I think that is 
all I wanted to share with you today. And I would just invite you if you are wanting, if you find yourself wanting to be in a relationship, maybe date on dating websites or dating apps, and really wanting to put yourself out there and and find a, a good partner, a healthy relationship. Check in with yourself and ask yourself what it is that you're wanting to give, what it is that you're wanting to receive. So really, really check in with your motivations for doing that. What is behind your desire to be in relationship? Um, and check, yeah, that, that will just really help you to see if you're coming from a healthy place. Really help you to see if you're wanting to fill an unmet need within you with somebody else. Or whether you're coming from a healthy place of, of feeling fulfilled and feeling love and feeling loved in yourself and wanting to share that with somebody else. So check in with your inner energy, check in with your inner state when you are putting yourself out on the dating market and that will help you a lot I think to work out whether you're in a place, a healthy enough place to actually be able to find a healthy relationship and to find a healthy person. Okay, thank you for watching or listening. Wishing you a beautiful day, night, morning or evening, wherever you are when you are watching this. Don't forget to like this video if you like this content, if you find these kind of conversations interesting. <laughs> and also please do subscribe to the channel. You will help me to reach more people who are interested in this work of Akasha love, opening to love, expanding into love growing healthy, strong relationships from a place of healthy self-love, overflowing from the inside out. Okay, thanks so much and I lots of love from Bali. I will see you next time.